guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel, uh, Metal Marty Mark, back with another video. Guys, this time is this this is the second part of or the second in, in, installment of that uh, uh, new series I started, where I'm going to show eight uh, records, eight random records from my collection, uh, records that I may not have uh, shown since um, I bought them, or maybe not have, maybe I haven't listened to too much. So um, yeah, it's just been scrolling through my shelves and pulling out. Uh, various records that I, I, I said, haven't spun in a while that I wanted to revisit. So yeah, the last time I did um, Shit, I can't even remember what I did. Trash Metal. And uh, so this time I'm going to do some Death Metal. So I've pulled off eight Death Metal albums off my shelves. Stuff I haven't heard in ages. And uh, I'm very quickly going to go through these. Because there's eight albums. I want to keep these videos short. So I'm just going to tell you quickly what I, t I thought of it again. And if I'm going to keep it. This is a great way of going through your collection to see if there's stuff on your collection that you don't want. That's you feel maybe somebody else in the VC would, would like it. And there is the very last album it is I'm going to pass on because I was very disappointed in it. I left it to last to show you. But um, yeah, really disappointed in it considering their debut. It's a, it's a sophomore album from a band. And yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. In the background, we are listening to the very brilliant Rendem Asunder from Scotland. Hoping to see these guys in January in Scotland. Just savage death metal from Scotland. Absolutely awesome, awesome album. This is their debut album, came out last year in 2022. Existence to Existence to and Trails, given to me, uh, sent to me very kindly by Mr. Sean the Beast. Uh, cheers, brother. I still have to send you something in return for sending me that because it's a fucking banger. I love it. Okay, quickly on to these death metal albums. Now I've got a list here with some details, just a few dates and where it is in their discography and all that. But I'm gonna fly through it because it's all it's all bullshit. It's all stuff I've shown before and here. So. I don't know what way, I think the list is all mixed up from one of the albums. Okay, so I'll just grab them as they come. So, first up uh, that I picked off my shelf was uh, Skinless. I hope that stupid light is not shining too much on them. So this is Skinless, a uh, US death metal band, brutal death metal band. So this was a kind of a comeback album for them. They were gone for about eight years, I believe. And uh, let me see when this came out. 2015, they've six albums, six albums out, and this is their fifth album. So uh, only the rootless remain. Uh, it's out on uh, what's the name of that record label? Uh, Relapse Records. I think this is just Black Final. It is just Black Final. Kenwood and Inner. But uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed this. Uh, I got this and their last album, the 2018 album, Nick Savagery, from a mate. He bought them for a present for me. They could have been for Christmas, maybe not last Christmas, the Christmas before, or maybe it was a birthday present. I'm not sure. But yeah, he bought me the two albums. Uh, I didn't know the band. I uh, don't know their earlier stuff either, but um, I, mean, I actually enjoyed this album. I'm going to take Savagery off the shelf and have a listen to it maybe in the next day or so. I just might just take a little breather from the death metal for a bit because I've just been overloaded for the last two weeks since the last video of death metal. But uh, yeah, decent album. Brutal stuff, but it, there's a lot of good breakdowns in it. It's got a lot of good mosh pit stuff in it. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this. So, um, And there's a couple of good videos out for it, so... Uh, uh, on YouTube, Skinless and Flamethrower. Cool video for Skinless. If you're into horror and gore and that sort of stuff that I am, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this album, so it's definitely a keeper. Some brutal death metal. Uh, there's actually a, the best song on the album, just before I go on, is uh, Funeral Course. It's the second song on side two. It's a fantastic song. It's not brutal, it's not fast. It is slow and very heavy, and it's very, very good. So if you don't know Skinless like myself, I didn't, check out Funeral Course of this album. Really good. Okay, quickly moving on. He says quickly. Okay, yeah, I remember buying this a, a while back. Did listen to it a good few times at Soul Seller Records. And I really, really like this album because it sounded a lot like one of my favorite death metal bands, Autopsy. So where, where's my details for the date in this? Because the writing's so small I can't see it. So this is Ornaments of Severity, 2017, uh, the toured album by Swedish death metal band uh, Mame. What a, what a class cover. I'm really hoping that light that I have on there is not killing these album covers because they're fantastic. But yeah, really like this. Good package. There was one little, wasn't a flaw in this album. There's one thing that sort of, it didn't bug me, and I'm very fucking picky, I know, but uh, I'll tell you now in a second. So that was just on black vinyl, but this is really good. This is definitely very, very autopsy-ish. Uh, it's got the loose sort of drumming of Chris Reifert on it. Uh, Two-piece band. I was looking up their Instagram and stuff. I think that maybe when they're touring, they have a three-piece. 
But I, I, I'm not even sure if they're still together. When did I say this came out? 2017. I don't think they've put out an out since 2017. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another album out since. I'll have to recheck that. But yeah, good stuff. Really good death metal. Old school stuff. The only thing in this uh, for me was the instrumental. There's an instrumental on this skeletons. Now it's not a fucking synth or any kind of fucking bullshit like that. It's an actual, actual song. If you know what I mean, they're actually playing, but it just goes on for too long. I think it's about six minutes long. I remember listening to this album about two or three times in, in a row, and I was like, fuck me, is that song is still the same song? Is it ever going to end? It's good, but if it had been like half of the length of it, it would have been fine. It's called Skeletons, the last song inside one. It's good, but it's just a bit too long. That's the only thing that I, I didn't like about this album was that instrumental. You know, I kept looking up and going, the fuck, is that that still that cunt of a song still on? But um, yeah, great album. Really good. Must check out the rudder stuff. Um, Ornaments of Severity 2017. So good. Yeah, I remember buying that. I remember buying all these. Like, you know, it wouldn't be that long since I bought them. Okay, up next. <laughs> Class. I love this band. I only have three releases by this band. Their last album from 2021, was it? Or 2022? No, it was 2021, I think. Um, uh, Necrosaurus. If I can pronounce it right. And then I have a CD as well that we made, Gemi. Up there, and then have this album. This is the one before Necro Necrosaurus, 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 whatever they were calling, which was an amazing album. So this is Income and Debt by fucking God's Asphyx, man. I need some more Asphyx in my collection. This album is so good. So uh, as you know, Dutch Debt Doom, more debt than Doom, but the Doom stuff is class, uh, especially on this. And yeah, Martin Van Drunen, what a brilliant vocalist. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. Everybody knows Asphyx, and I just absolutely adore this record now. I've spun it a heap of times, a heap of times, but it's it's fantastic. They're a great band, and I need, really need to get more Asphyx in my collection. Very surprised I haven't. Uh, only more than three albums. I know they have a good few albums out. Uh, they have ten albums out, actually. That Random Thunder is awesome. I can't wait to see them. <clears throat> okay, up next, uh, something I don't buy too often, something I absolutely detest. They look good, sound fucking assholes. So, picture disc. Now, don't buy too picture disc too often. It's just they're fine when they're going, but it, in between, especially if you have your turntable turned up real loud, it, it sounds like there's a fucking tornado or something outside, or the world's ending, the noise. So stupid sticky bloody covers as well but anyhow i can tell you what it is before i get it out this is cannabis corpse and the album is tube of the resonated resonated isn't it yeah it's a very cool picture disc but uh i'm not gonna buy it and stick it on a wall because it'd get like fucked but uh yeah great band this is a side project of what the hell is his name landfill from municipal based excuse me and this is their second album. I do have another picture disc. I bought these because they were really cheap at the time. I have their their last album, I think, is it Nug So Vile. And uh, yeah, sounded like a joke band, Cannabis Corpse. And then all the, the songs are kind of, uh, past, not pastiches, what's the word? Puns on on most of the very big famous death metal bands. It used to be... Um, used to be like just cannabis cor cannibal corpse but now they're doing they're doing other bands as well but it's far from it there's nothing nothing jokey about this man this this album actually is some of the better than some of the cannibal corpse albums that i've heard that i have uh really really good stuff it's brutal it's not brutal death metal by no means there's just a lot of technical brilliant guitar work on this and uh yeah like this the song titles are like a bit stupid like you know addicted to harsh in a tin fucked with northern lights uh, every bud smoking yeah you can get the teams of it but the music is it doesn't take out away from it i have no lyrics to go by lyrics but so um but yeah cannabis corpse really really good that's a very very strong album now i have only heard two other albums but that's a really really good album so i'm definitely holding on to that too even though it's a picture disc and it's this noisy bastard okay up next i think we're flying through these we're halfway there holy shit that's all this one, great. This was the first one I picked up the shelf because I was kind of walking through the shelves alphabetically. And this is Bone, Bone Nor. I always say that wrong. And this is Cannibal Crematorium. Side project by Cam Lee of Massacre fame. One of my favorite vocals back then he was. Uh, and he still he's fantastic vocals on this. So this is, um, this is his uh, cannibal themed uh, side project. 
Yeah, this is their second album, come out in blah, 2015. Excellent stuff. Uh, Robbie Johansson played with him before on the album before, and he doesn't play on this one. Um, ah, shit, I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, he's Ronnie somebody. Yeah. But anyway, as I say, cannibal, cannibal team band. So the whole songs are all centered around cannibalism. There's a lot of sound bites in this. The intro is, it's a actual uh, sound bites from uh, real uh, news uh, news reports of cannibalism. And there's detect there's noise in this. There's chainsaws. Everything's like a fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre on record. Uh, really, really good though. There is a lot of sound bites and stuff put into it, like horror stuff. So it suits me down to the ground. Might not suit everybody. There's a long ass intro in it. That's the one with all the news clips. But but once it kicks in. Solid death metal album, brilliant stuff. Family's vocals are awesome on this. Loads of guest vocalists on this as well. Uh, a couple of the guys from Cardiac Arrest. I'm saying that like I know who the fuck that is. Uh, who else is on this? Uh, Dave, I think Dave, Mark Riddick, Sonic from Fetid Zombie. Uh, Vincent Crowley from Acheron. Uh, I thought the fucking other guy was on this. There he is, Dave Ingram as well. So uh, yeah, this this is really really solid, good death metal album, absolutely great album. Really really like that one. That was that one. Three to go or two to go, and then we get to the, the one I didn't like at all. Uh, so this is a uh, now this these guys have nine albums out. This is a fifth album out there. This was a blind buy a couple of years ago, and uh, and to be honest with you, I haven't listened to it in a couple of years, but I really really liked it. So. Swedish death metal band Vomitory. I know they put a new album out very recently. Can't think of the name of it, but after listening to this yesterday, I am definitely going to be buying it. Really cool band. Swedish death metal. What more can you say? Very much in the bloodbath vein. Well, that's what I was getting out of this, any uh, bloodbath. So, uh, yeah, big discography, nine albums. This is their fifth. But, uh, yeah, really glad I revisited that one. I'm definitely going to pick up the new one. I heard some good things about it. I can't remember the title. Uh, second to last, this is a <clears throat> now this is a French French death metal band. Sorry, I'm just going to take a bit in order to drop the water. It's very warm here under the lights. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> so I remember uh, I didn't blind buy this. I remember listening to bits of this before I bought it. I just love the cover. I love the the. Reaper on the cover it just it just reminded me of me tattoo and that and I just said right, I'm gonna check these guys out So this is the French boys they have changed their name since their debut from 2015. So this is undead false prophecies Just shit grim reapers all over the place. It's fucking class They are now called undead prophecies. I still believe they're still going. I think they're still active going by the the archive It's come out on a, a Blue vinyl for some strange reason but what you got here is old school death metal and when I say old school I mean old school I'm talking death and Morgoth We've got fucking cool names uh, Angelus Neck Necros Noct Nocturnal King Oscar old drawer or some shit but yeah if you like old death and old Morgoth that sort of sound not new death not techie death old death these guys are awesome I do have them um, the CD of the Rudd next album in my basket. I'm gonna. I don't know if it's out in vinyl or I can't just find it in vinyl. But I'm definitely gonna pick it up because um, if you like gruesome, you know gruesome does sound a lot like death. They, these aren't exactly cloned like gruesome. Are. Gruesome are fantastic, but this this is definitely that sound, old school sound. I really like this. Listenable records. This was definitely, definitely, most definitely staying in my collection. And we get down to the last album. Now this this is a. Uh, a sophomore album that was 10 years in the making. This came out in 2002. When I seen this coming out in Svart Records after the released the amazing debut, which I listened to yesterday, and is it close to me? It is. It's beside me, which is great. So this piece of brilliance, Demigod, Slumber of Sullen Eyes. What an amazing debut album. A must, must have in any death metal collection. Definitely is. If I had to get rid of any album, that would definitely wouldn't be that one. That's an amazing album. But they come back after a 10-year gap, and this came out in Spark Records. This is a a numbered uh, a numbered edition. There was 500 of these released or something like that. And uh, oh man, I was just um, 
just shocked. I know the singer had left and there's lineup changes and all that, but this, this, I just, there is no, sorry, I'll show you the fucking album. So this is Shadow Mechanics by, even the album cover looks 2002, like it's just, um, it's just very disappointing. Okay, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's just, it has nothing to do with that first album. It, completely different band. You wouldn't even know the fucking, they're the same band. So it is technically death metal this album there's three vocalists on this album which doesn't help and the fact that none of them are any really good at all doesn't really help there is some nice guitar work in this there's clean vocals on this so as i say it's a really throw away from the first album and um, just wasn't my cup of tea i couldn't get into it the song trail of guilt oh i wanted to break the record but um, yeah just not my i know it's it's not terrible but it's just not my cup of tea and I couldn't get into it. I don't really like the songs, they're a bit all over the place. It was just oh, very, very all over the place. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I was just very disappointed after such an amazing debut. I know we'd have another album out after this, but I'm not even going to bother looking for it. I've got the classic album in the collection and that's all I need from this band, unfortunately. So yes, um, the second album by Demigod, this is the... It is a coloured variant and it didn't even fucking help either. So, let's see, Roger getting sick here now. He probably has it already. But uh, yeah, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to move this out of my collection. I do not have, do have someone in mind in the VC. Uh, I know he loves the first album, who doesn't? And he, he mightn't have this, but he might want it. And then he mightn't fucking want it because he, he mightn't think it's, it's much more addition. But I'm going to message him and see if he wants it as well. So um, yeah, I do need to send him something. So. But I'm going to see if he wants it, because I don't want it, because I won't listen to it again, ever. Not a hope. And that is the uh, Demigod Shadow... Shadow... What the fuck? I can't even think of them. Shadow Mechanics. Yeah, that's it, guys. That was those eight death metal records I listened to during... Well, last week and the week before. So, um... Seven good ones in my case. Um, for me, any yeah, definitely. The Demigod... Yeah, just didn't do it. Didn't cut the mustard for me. Um, so we'll be moving it on. And that's it guys, uh, thank you all for watching, I don't know what I'm going to do next, what genre next, whatever, whatever appeals to me, will I do Doom, will I do Heavy Metal, I've got a lot of Heavy Metal records from a lot of old or Heavy Metal bands that have new releases and some of them I've listened to and I need to re-listen to them another few times so I might pull them off the shelf, uh, yeah I'll have a think about it anyway but uh, yeah cheers, thank you to everybody who has um, entered my competition, I think I have about 20 people who have done who've done entries so far which is fantastic got a lot of new subscribers out of it which is great so uh, yeah appreciate everybody doing that and appreciate you all uh liking commenting and subscribing the channel is really growing i'm getting near to 666 which is pretty fucking cool so um yeah that's it guys uh, having a great weekend it's saturday here in ireland at the moment and uh yeah enjoy the rest of the weekend and thanks for all for tuning in let me know what you think of these albums let me know if you have that and what do you think of it because yeah, it's not for me. Couldn't couldn't get into it, unfortunately. But uh, that's it. Cheers. Have a nice day. Good luck. <laughs>